My name is Darren Goodman. I'm an applications engineer for Conga Tech in the United States, and I'm here to show you how easy it is to make your own BIOS modifications using the free Conga Tech system utility software. In this video, I will be demonstrating how to add OEM ROM code into the embedded BIOS. For this example, I will be simulating the need to add PXE boot support to a carrier board that has a secondary Realtek 8139B PCI device. Please note, Congatech system utility software allows for the modification of the system BIOS. As such, even with integrated check routines, it is still possible to corrupt a BIOS or a BIOS file, making the module no longer bootable. For this reason, it is strongly recommended to use a Congatech evaluation carrier board or a Congatech debug board that incorporates an external firmware hub BIOS chip specifically for the recovery of a corrupted BIOS. For this demonstration, I'll be installing a 10100 PCI network adapter card into the CE valve board. If you notice, there's an open socket for an option ROM and it's a Realtek 8139B chip. I'm using my previous setup that includes the CE valve board, the Conga CA945, and a hard drive pre-installed with XP Pro. I've also connected a USB thumb drive with a PXE boot ROM I created from the etherbootproject.org's website. Before I begin, as in any project, I, what I'm going to do is make a backup copy of the original BIOS. Having saved the BIOS as a bootlogo.rom file, I make sure that the Select Operation Target is Board, Select BIOS Module Modification button, and Select Create Module button. At this point, I select my PXE ROM file from the attached USB thumb drive. Opening the file, you will notice that now I go down to the BIOS module type. You will see a list of CMOS backup, CMOS default, OEM code, EPI panel data, and so forth. At this point, I select the OEM code data module. I also look at the load and execution time selections and there you can select uh, where in the BIOS process the ROM loads itself. In this case I'm loading after the video init and execute before the OPROM scan. You'll also notice above this setting there's a module ID number and I'm going to change that to module ID 1 as module ID 0 was used already for the OEM boot logo. At this point I'll hit the Create Module button and I'll name this module GPXE in name of the ROM file and where I got it from. Since I just created my module, now all I have to do is hit the Add Module button, select the GPXE module I just created, select Open, and you'll notice it's under the current BIOS modules. Clicking the Apply button, We'll save the changes to the BIOS. It says applying changes. This may take a few seconds. Changes successfully applied. From here, I'm just going to close this window and close the CG Util and reboot the system. Following the system reboot and hitting the delete key to go into the BIOS and CMOS setup, in this BIOS I actually have two modules, the BIOS boot logo module and the GPXE module. Since the boot device priority is set to device based, you will notice that the first, second, and third boot device are present. The third boot device is the GPXE boot ROM. What I'm doing is reversing the order, making the GPXE boot ROM the first device, hard drive second, USB card third, I'm going to save and exit the BIOS and CMOS. On the system reboot, you'll notice that the Congatech boot logo screen is still active, and the first boot device being the GPXE boot ROM is the next device in the boot order. In this case, I've disconnected the router such that the device will time out. Once it times out, it'll hit the second boot device, which is the external hard drive, 
Boot XP Pro, and I'm ready to begin the next steps. The next steps consist of running the CGUtil program, naming the BIOS file, saving the BIOS file, and exiting the system. For additional information, please visit our website at www.congatech.us or www.congatech.com. Click on the Support tab, select the documentation, scroll down to the bottom, and select the file named User Guide Congatech System Utility. Thank you.